Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my tutorial on how to set up a newsletter campaign with MailChimp. I really like MailChimp mainly because it's free as long as you don't go over 500 subscribers, as it says here. See? And this is how you set it up. You basically go to MailChimp.com, fill in an email address, username, password, so forth and so on. Click on Create My Account. Then they're going to send an email to you and you're going to have to confirm that you do own that email account. Then once that's established, you want to go in here and log in to your new account. This looks like some crazy virus, but it's it's actually a joke. The company's actually kind of funny. And you'll see your dashboard. And you can see here that I've added 43 additional people have subscribed on my website since I sent out this campaign here. Currently up to 349 total subscribers. So totally free. From the dashboard, you can create a campaign right here. Click on that. This is so simple. I almost always use a regular old campaign, so that's what I would tell you to use as well. Then what you want to do is click on the people that you want to send this campaign to. Click next. Then you want to name your campaign. This is going to be the subject of the email that you send out. And MailChimp goes through a lot of spam filters. I've, that's another reason why I continue to use them. This will be the name that's listed as who the email is from, and that can be completely different than the email that the person would reply to. And then over here, I track opens, I track any HTML clicks. What I mean by that is I track what links people click on inside of the email. You can also track plain text clicks um, and as well do some Google Analytics tracking, but I don't do that because it will actually show Google Analytics and MailChimp URLs, but it's up to you if you want to do that. And here also, if you want to check this box, it'll automatically notify Twitter every time you mail out a new campaign. Then you click Next. Here I have a whole bunch of emails already created, but I'm going to actually show you how to make a new one. Click on Design Genius. See right here. Click on Get Started. This is so simple to use. They provide you with a whole bunch of different templates, abstract, you can see here animals, anniversaries, birthdays, celebrate, so forth and so on. You can see here there's a bunch of retail newsletters you could use. Just click on Select. And it pops up a nice little design. Now if you want to go in here and change your header, and this is the header right here, just click on Design Header. It gives you the option to change whatever background there is here. So let's, just to show you how simple it is, let's click on Music and Bands. Let's say that I was a DJ. This might be a good one. Click on Select. Then what I would do is I put in my heading text. This is going to be the biggest part. Let's just call it Spinning Around. As you can see, this is black, so you can't see it on a black background. So you want to click in here on color, and let's change it to something crazy. You can also see here that this is too big, so let's shrink it down a little bit. Typed in here, newsletter for disco fans. Again, want to change the color, and that size is perfectly fine. You can also set up here, if the person clicks your header, where they're going to be sent. You would put your link right here. I'm not going to do that but you could definitely do that, and you definitely would want to do that. You can see it automatically updated here on screen. Then, if you want to change and edit this, which you definitely would, you just click on Edit. You can come in here and just change all of this text, just like you would any word processor. And it's going to automatically update, and you can change all this. You can put in links, you can import images, bold, so forth, change your styling of your text, your font, the size so forth and so on, and you click on save. You can see it automatically updated there. Then there also provides you with the ability to, just by clicking on these little themes, to automatically change your theme colors. Then after you're happy with that, click on structure. And if you're happy with your overall design, click on save and add content. Template name, I'm just gonna call this spinning. And you can actually edit the text inside of the previous editor, or you could edit it here. Again, just by clicking in the box and changing whatever text is here to whatever you want it to be. And then clicking on save. Okay, so obviously you're not gonna send this out, but you get the gist of how to edit the text, change the header, and change the title and the slogan in your newsletter. Click on next. Right here would be a plain text version that's automatically created for you inside of MailChimp. You always wanna include this. And you can also see down here 
uh, a pop-up preview of what this would look like if this was sent to somebody and they had a spam filter that blocked your newsletter. But like I said, most of the time MailChimp gets through all their spam blockers. And you could click on this to send a plain text test to whatever email address you'd want it to to make sure that it looks good. And you come up here and click on next again. And then what it does is it gives you a final run through of everything so that you don't accidentally send it to the wrong recipients or with the wrong subject line and you can see that everything here is checking out 100%. And then if you were 100% happy with all this, you would click on send now and it would send everything out. If you wanted to make sure that it was all to your liking, you would send test and then type in an email address. I'll show you. All you would do is type in your email address to where you wanted to send it to, click on send test. You could click on pop up preview to see what it's going to look like whenever the person gets it. Looks pretty nice, except that there's no text in it. And then you could also set up a scheduled delivery in which you can tell it when you want the newsletter sent out. Or of course hit send now and it goes out to, in my case, all 200 and 86 recipients, but I don't want to send that out because I do not have a DJ company, so I'm going to hit cancel. And you can see over here in your dashboard, they provide easy ways for you to use surveys and notify people on events and provide them the ability to easily subscribe that they're going to come to an event. You can see here, I, my last campaign, I actually sent it to one individual. That's not common for me. And there's all kinds of information here as well as video tutorials, which are probably better than mine. I, the only reason I did this tutorial is to get people to get out there and do newsletters, period because I think a lot of people think they're very hard to do and they're not. See up here, I can click on lists and this is going to show me all my, of my lists that I currently have set up. I can import, these are all the different file types you can bring in here. You can bring in different spreadsheets. You can bring in information from Google Docs, maybe a Google Doc spreadsheet and all these other services provide you with an easy way to import all of the lists that you wanna send your newsletter to. I can also click on where I clicked on create forms and set up a system where I email out a person the opportunity to subscribe to my newsletters. And here I can click on reports and check how good my last campaign did on the A list in this case, which is the name of my newsletter. And you see here that the last time I sent this campaign out, I sent it to 273 people. I received zero complaints. Of those deliveries, 108 of them were received, and it gives you all kinds of statistics as well as a pie chart, shows you how many are unopened, shows you your click rate, shows you everything. And I can click on click map, and it'll actually show me exactly what people clicked on inside of my newsletter, which is really helpful because this shows me exactly what content those people that I send my newsletter out to are most interested in. And you can see here by looking at what I got, Almost 30% clicked on wanting to know how to create their own website for free. So I know that I need to generate more free stuff and or more website related information in my newsletter. I can also click on who opened to see how many people opened my email. I'm not going to do that because you'll see the people in my list. And you can also set up an auto responder. What this does is it'll send out an email to anybody who subscribes to your newsletter. And these are also extremely easy to set up. Click on create auto responder. What list you want these auto responders sent to. And you can see here under settings, I'm sending one day after a person signs up for the this list right here and then I could put in the autoresponder name I'm just typing in test 2 create email click on next again type in pretty much the same information we typed in with the previous campaign click on next here I could choose from one of the other templates I've already created or I could go into Design Genius and create just like I previously did. But here I'll go back and show you what my autoresponder actually looks like. Click on select and you can see here what my autoresponder actually looks like. It's nice and short and sweet and I think it's very important to focus in on previous articles that you received a lot of click-throughs on and that's exactly what I do here but make sure this is nice and short and sweet because then that'll give the person the impression that you give them good information you don't overload them with advertising I would never put advertising in an autoresponder and you can make all the same changes here as you did before and that is how easy it is to use MailChimp to send out email newsletters and you should definitely try it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Till next time.